United States is unique because we are an empire of ideals. <laughs> Over the years, I've addressed this convention as a private citizen, as a governor, as a presidential candidate, as a president. And now, once again, tonight, as private citizen Ronald Reagan. Uh, tonight is a very special night for me. Of course, at my age, every night's a special night. After all, after all, I was born in 1911. Indeed, according to the experts, I have exceeded my life expectancy by quite a few years. Now, this, this is a source of great annoyance to some, especially those in the Democratic Party. But, but here's the remarkable thing about being born in 1911. In my life's journey over these past eight decades, I have seen the human race through a period of unparalleled tumult and triumph. I have seen the birth of communism and the death of communism. I, I, I have witnessed, I have witnessed the bloody futility of two world wars and Korea, Vietnam, and the Persian Gulf. I have seen Germany united, divided, and united again. I have seen television grow from a parlor novelty to become the most powerful vehicle of communication in history. As a boy, I saw streets filled with Model Ts. As a man, I have met men who walked on the moon. I have not only seen but lived the marvels of what historians have called the American century. Yet, yet tonight is not a time to look backward. For while I take inspiration from the past, like most Americans, I live for the future. So, so this evening, for just a few minutes, I hope you will let me talk about a country that is forever young. There was a time when empires were defined by land mass, subjugated peoples, and military might. But the United States is unique because we are an empire of ideals. For, for 200 years, we have been set apart by our faith in the ideals of democracy, of free men and free markets, and of the extraordinary possibilities that lie within seemingly ordinary men and women. We believe that no power of government is as formidable a force for good as the creativity and entrepreneurial drive of the American people. Wow. Those, those are the ideals that invented revolutionary technologies and a culture envied by people everywhere. This powerful sense of energy has made American synonymous for opportunity the world over. And after generations of struggle, America is the moral force that defeated communism.
and, and all those who would put the human soul itself into bondage. Within a few short years, we Americans have experienced the most sweeping changes of this century, the fall of the Soviet Union and the rise of the global economy. No, no transition is without its problems, but as uncomfortable as it may feel at the moment, the changes of the 1990s will leave America more dynamic and less in danger than at any time in my life.